With four passengers to carry and a fortune of 27 million quid, you would expect Viscount Lindley to be able to find a car to suit his needs, really, wouldn't you? So, surprisingly, yesterday, he picked a classic Fiat 500 to drive his wife, his daughter and two friends home after his father's birthday lunch. Bit of a squeeze in there, as you can see. So, does the idea of being cramped up with your nearest and dearest in the back of a very small motor fill you with horror, ladies? Or do you quite like it, maybe? Well, do you know... I grew up really being a part of a family that were known as the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> Blackpool Hillbillies. Um, because, obviously, there was eight kids and my mum and dad. So whatever car or van we got in, we were cramped. Yeah. In fact, I spent my, you know, probably the first eight or nine years of my life on top of a speaker that was also <laughs> in the van. Back of and that was, that, was <laughs> my, that was my bed and my seat and everything. Um, so I was quite used. I, I was quite used to being. But you know what? It doesn't matter where I go or what car I'm in. I always look a bit like one of the clampets wherever I arrive. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Can't like, travel like. Why? Right. So well, it's mean? not. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know. I, no, I don't have loads of suitcases. Oh. But I always end up with loads of carry because I'm trying not to have loads of suitcases. Oh. I end up with loads of carrier yeah. bags, and Bits I won't and pack that jacket. I'll carry that jacket, <laughs> and then I've got three jackets over, and I look like you know Martha Clampett or whatever she was called. <laughs> Mother Clampett. Uh, Mother Clampett. And um, in fact, me and my sisters went to see Bernie when she was doing Pop Star to Opera oh. Star. She's brilliant. And, of course, because it was opera, everyone was kind of dressed up and all that. And um, there was me, Moyne and Linda going to see her. And we were only staying at the hotel up the road. And we still turned up like the Clampets. They had suitcases. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, girls, can we not just turn up and look classy just for once in our lives? But it's never going to happen. But, yeah, oh, I don't mind being squashed in a car. I like being squashed in a car. It's quite like memories. Well, it does, actually, because when I was going to discotheques... <laughs> <laughs> I was younger. <laughs> you know, Just normally, kidding. you know, loads of people would go, but only one person would drive. So you were always trying yeah. to cram people in the, in the backs of cars. And, you know, if you've had a few, it's quite funny. because it is, funny. it is, because you've usually got someone's knee in your face and then someone blows off and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it is quite funny. That bit's but... funny. <laughs> that is my idea of hell. You see, I grew up with my, my parents went everywhere in a tiny mini with my sister and I. We went camping, so the four of us and the tent and the camping gas stove and everything all in the little mini. And then we progressed to a Bedford van, which my dad oh, kind of to go in the did. Van. His, uh, he cut the windows out and my mum... He, apparently, I asked her, I said, where did Julia and I sleep? And she said, oh, Dad made this shelf that went across the driver's seat yeah, and into the window, that's into the front window. And she made a foam mattress and that's where we slept. So now I've done that, been there, got the T-shirt. It was all fun when we were little. But now I'd no go, thanks, crammed. I'll get a cab, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say I've ever been crammed. <laughs> ever? <laughs> ever? No. <laughs> but I like... Been no, but I've never been crammed in my life. Oh, you've never but I've, I, li I liked it when we were all in the car and we used to go on for picnics and you used to have boxes of sandwiches and flasks and those little biscuits with little twirly bits on the oh, top. Yeah. And I used to love all that. And all wet, soggy lettuce and... Wet, soggy tomatoes yeah. and... Oh, I loved it. What's that got to do with being crammed in a car? Nothing, really. <laughs> Could you just remind me never to come on did a picnic you, with Did you, you have yeah, a picnic thanks. in the car? Did you get everything out in the car? Was it raining or something? No, but when I, when I was married, we did. I used to have the picnic in the car and I used to have little sections for everybody's sandwiches. So I just used sandwiches to like going it. on in your car. <laughs> no, I just used to like it. Oh, well, listen, I've got a crammed show to get through, talking about being crammed in the back of a car. We've yes. got to get on. I've been told we've got to get on. And uh, if you miss...